and welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make the Red Heart Cares Knit Cowl. This is a fun pattern and easy and quick to make, perfect for the My First with Marley Bird YouTube videos. Why don't you look down here? Let me show you what you need to get started. The first thing you need to do is download your pattern. It's a free pattern over on redheart.com. When you get the pattern, you'll notice that it has two pages, one full page of the written instructions, and the second page includes a very large image of the cowl close up, and it also includes a knitted chart. Don't be fearful, you don't have to use a knitted chart, especially those of you who are just completely afraid of charts. That's what's so great about having the written word here. So we will go through the written word for the pattern and you will be all set. Along with the pattern, you will need three balls of Red Heart Soft yarn, a pair of size 13 circular needles, at least 24 inches, if not 36 inches, a stitch marker, and a yarn needle so that you can weave in your ends. Gather your materials and your pattern. Join me back here and I'm gonna get you started. This cowl is made holding two strands of yarn together throughout, which is really easy. It's not that difficult. It's as simple as holding two strands of yarn together. This will make your cowl project go faster and be a little bit squishier. Let's start off with the slip knot. Put the tail in the palm of your hand, working yarn around your forefinger and your middle finger, and when you come back up, cross over. After you cross over, turn your work and you're gonna go underneath the first loop and grab the back loop and pull it off and you will have a slip knot at that point. Let's put that slip knot directly onto the needle and we're going to do a knitted cast on. To do a knitted cast on, simply take your needle and go into the stitch that we just put on there. Take your working yarn, wrap it around your needle like so, just like that, around your needle. And then re-gripping your needle, you wanna take that yarn you just pull, put around that needle and pull it through. Now we're gonna extend that needle, swivel, and our left hand needle will now scoop and put that on. Take your right hand needle, go into that new stitch, yarn over your needle, out that stitch, extend, swivel, and put that on. In the next stitch, oop, in the next stitch, around, out, extend, swivel and place it directly onto the left hand needle again. As you're going into each stitch, make sure you're going through two strands of yarn. You do not want to accidentally just go through one strand of yarn. You want to make sure that you are through two strands of yarn. Yarn over your right hand needle. Bring your right hand needle through that stitch you went into. Extend your right hand needle. Swivel your left and place that stitch onto your left hand needle. You need to cast on 100 stitches for this cowl in this manner. So continue on casting on 100 stitches. Once you've cast on 100 stitches, lay your work down and make sure that the bottom edge of your work is all facing the inside of your circular needles. This ensures that you haven't accidentally twisted your work at any place. Once you've done that, take the marker, place it directly onto your right hand needle. Now we're ready to begin our garter stitch pattern. When you work in garter stitch in the round, it's important that you will purl one round and knit the next round. This is what creates the beautiful garter ridges in the round. If we were working in garter stitch back and forth, just flat, it would be knit every single row or purl every single row. But because we're doing this the round, it's important that we create one full round of purls on top of knits and one full round of knits on top of purls. Since we just did a knitted cast on, we will start off with a full purl round. To purl, you wanna make sure that your working yarn is in front of your needles, and we're gonna take our right hand needle and go into the very first stitch on our left hand needle, as if to purl. Take the working yarn, ignoring the stitch marker, just ignore the stitch marker, and go around your right hand needle just like so. You wanna make sure you go around it like that. Once you do that, Pop that right hand needle out of that stitch and have that stitch jump off. Then you'll do it again on the next stitch. So we go into the stitch as if to purl, around our needle, out the stitch, and off. In the stitch, around the needle, out the stitch, and off. 
in the stitch, around the needle, out the stitch, and off. In, and let's do this. I want to put my yarn so that way I'm holding it in many different methods so that you guys can see. In, around, out, off. In, around, I need to push these up so that I can work this. Make sure you're pushing your yarn up as you go along. So we did around, out, off. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. Now let's hold it in my left hand. I'm gonna hold it like I would if I were continental. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. You will continue purling until you get to the end of the round, which is indicated by the stitch marker. When you get to the stitch marker, we will simply slip it and then start our knit round. Let me show you. I'm at the end of the round and I can see that there's my marker right there. To move my marker, it's as easy as slipping it directly over onto my right hand needle and that indicates I have finished my round. So it's time for me to knit. So let's go ahead and knit this round. So all we will do is go into the stitch as if to knit, yarn over our right hand needle, come out of the stitch and off. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. Let me show you how to do that with the yarn in your left hand in case you are continental. In, around, out, off. And you'll see here, look how my stitches look like they've jumped on each other. They're actually just still sitting next to each other, but I wanna make sure I'm going into both strands there. So in, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. In, around, out, off. Finish this round of knits, and when you get to the marker, simply slip it, and then do one more round of purls. Then it's time to begin the check pattern. For the check pattern, it's as simple as knitting five stitches. So we're going to knit five stitches, four, five. So I've knit one, two, three, four. I need to knit one more. And then I purl five. One, two, three, four, five. You'll notice I'm making sure I'm going through both strands of yarn. I'm gonna do that one more time with the yarn in my opposite hand, just so you can see what that looks like. I will knit five, so knit one, two, three, four, five, and then I need to purl five. When I purl five, I'm gonna make sure I bring my yarn between my needles. You see that? Bring the yarn between your needles, and then purl five. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Bring my yarn between my needles, and I knit five. Once you've finished the entire round of knit five, purl five, the next round is just knit. And then you'll repeat rounds one and two one more time. Let me show you what that looks like. Once you've completed that part of the instructions, you should have a piece that looks a little something like this. You'll notice that there is a section of just knits right there. So there are five knits. And then there's a section of garter stitch. Remember when we did garter stitch at the beginning, when we knit one round and then purled one round, it gave us the garter stitch ridges. We got that same effect in these five stitches that we started off with purl five. 
The next round we knit them, the next round we purled five, the next round we knit them, so on and so forth. When you do that, you get this really great garter look. Now it's time to change up the stitch pattern so that way our garter stitches are actually going to be on top of this knit block and our knit block is gonna be on top of the garter stitch. And that's how we're gonna get the checkered look. So this is really as simple as just changing up the stitch pattern. So on this first round where we had knits before, we will purl. So here I am, I'm gonna make sure my yarn is to the front of my needle and I will purl these first five stitches. Two, three, four, five. Now I will move my yarn between my needle and knit the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Now I will move my yarn between my needle and purl the next five stitches. So yarn between my needles, purl the next five. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Yarn between my needles and knit the next five. Continue on in this stitch pattern of purl five, knit five, all the way to the end of the round. Then you will knit one entire round. The next two rounds, you will repeat rounds six and seven, and then repeat round six one last time. That puts you on round 11, where you will repeat rounds one through 10 five more times. Once you have completed that, that gives you this really great checkered look of the cowl, and it's time to finish off with some garter stitch and then bind off. Remember when you do garter stitch in the round, it will be exactly like you did when we started the cowl. So you will purl one round, knit one round, purl one round, and then we will bind off knit wise. I'm gonna show you how to bind off so that way you know how to complete the cowl when you get to that point. To show you how to bind off, I'm using three rounds of garter stitch that's already been completed. So this is what the finished part of your cowl will look like with your three rounds of garter stitch. And here's how you'll bind off knit wise. Simply go into the stitch, yarn over, pop out, and knit one. So that's the first knit stitch. Go into the stitch, yarn over, come out and off. So that's the second knit stitch. Take your left hand needle, stick it into the front leg of that first knit stitch you completed, and we want that first stitch to jump up and over the second stitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm picking it up and I'm having it jump up and over that first one and then completely off. See how it looks like this stitch is going through the throat of this one, or you can think of it as this one is strangling that stitch. That's what we want. That has officially been bound off. So now we have one stitch right here. You will knit another one and then bind off again. So take your left hand needle, grab the back stitch, have it jump up and over the front one, and then off. Let me show you how to do this with the yarn held in your right hand. We're at one stitch, go into the stitch and knit it, pop it off, take your left hand needle, go into the stitch, have it jump up and over that front stitch. It's just like the yarn when the yarn's held in the opposite hand. In, around, out, off, have the back stitch, jump up and over the front stitch, and off. So those stitches are getting bound off. Once the stitches are bound off, simply weave in your ends and your cowl is complete. Because I know some of you don't know how to weave in your ends, I'm gonna show you how to do that too. For time's sake, I'm not gonna finish the entire cowl before I show you how to weave in ends. So let's go ahead and weave in my tails from my cast on edge of the sample cowl that I'm working on. You can see down here that I have my two tails from my cast on edge. And what I wanna do is I wanna weave in each tail independent of the other. So I'm taking my tapestry needle and I'm going to thread my yarn directly onto my needle. So you wanna make sure you're weaving your tails into the wrong side. And then working my needle directly through the actual yarn, I'm splitting the yarn, I am going to tuck my tail in directly above where I had cast on. And then I'm gonna split my yarn and come back down the opposite direction. 
Now I'm choosing to split my yarn for this particular weave-in method of the soft yarn because I feel like it really grabs the yarn um, and it doesn't allow it to get unraveled and displaced with the acrylic yarn. And I have found that it works really well for this yarn. So you'll see I went up and down. I'm going back up one more time just like so and when I did that I was actually splitting through the yarn itself and my hand was on the opposite side and I made sure that my needle was never popping through to my public side now I need to do that to the opposite tail so I'm threading that onto my needle here as well and I'm will do the same thing so I'm going to split my yarn and I'm just working it all the way up this side of the cowl so I go up and then I'm reversing directions and coming back down that same way. And I'm going to do that one more time just because I feel like that really makes it nice and secure. And once again, I'm doing this with each tail. I'm doing it independently because I feel like it makes it so it's less bulky as you're weaving in the tails. Once they're all woven in, I can snip it real nice and tight. And my tails are woven in nice and clean. You can't hardly tell. You absolutely can't tell on the opposite side. And you're done. The very last question you might have is, Marley, you said I only need three balls of yarn. But if I'm holding two strands of yarn together, what happens when my first two balls are used up and I only have one ball left? That's really easy. All you need to do is take a strand from the outside of that one ball and a strand from the inside of that one ball hold those together at the same time and use those as you are finishing up your knit cowl. That's it. Now you know how to make the Red Heart Cares knit cowl. You learned how to cast on, knit, purl, and bind off, and you've created this really fabulous and textured cowl. Don't forget this is a free pattern over on redheart.com where you can find more My First with Marley Bird videos. Hope you enjoyed this video and like always, smash that like button as my kids say. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns. Catch you later. I really hope you enjoyed making this owl baby hat and you will run out, grab your yarn and hook and get started on your very own. I, you enjoy